Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of November 18th through to the 24th. Happy birthday to any of you late Scorpio who are having a birthday this week. I hope you have a fabulous one. So let's get to your reading. I already shuffled the cards, laid them out. What's going on for Scorps? First card up is the Eight of Pentacles in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Swords. Next we have, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune in the upright, followed then by the Five of Wands reversed. Lastly, we have the Eight of Cups in the upright. Your overall energy, Scorpio, is the Eight of Pentacles in the upright position. Well, this is the Worker B card. This is Worker energy. So, Scorpio, you could find yourself wrapped up in a lot of work this week. No different from the rest of the year. Most Scorpios have been incredibly busy. And it looks like this week will be no different. Maybe some of you are wrapping up some projects this week. Others of you could be getting into new projects that is keeping you busy. But you know what? It's paying the bills and it's definitely helping to build your wealth. So you're ready, willing, and able to do it. Nose to the grindstone, you will be very, very focused on getting things accomplished and achieved this week. Right at the beginning of the week, you have the Queen of Swords in the upright position, which is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. You could be dealing with a Queen of Swords type energy at the early part of the week. Sometimes she can represent dealing with people in the legal profession. She can be a lawyer. She can be an uh, arbitrator. She could be um, someone who lays down the law, a judge, or anybody like that. Sometimes people in the military, or it could be a surgeon. Sword people do also um, govern surgery as well. So you could be dealing with some truthful matter, some truth bombs coming in. You could be uh, embodying the energies of the Queen of Swords, especially if you have any air energy in your chart. You could be being very, very straightforward at the beginning of the week. Maybe you're laying down the law with something. Could be at work, it could be in the home, your relationship or anything. You're just saying, calling it like it is, because the Queen of Swords is all about the, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So you could be finding yourself being incredibly outspoken about something early on in the week, or you could be dealing with somebody who is like that. If it's somebody new coming into your life, I mean, this can also represent somebody who's already there as a spouse, a family member, a friend. Um, a boss or someone in the workplace. But this could be also maybe you're meeting someone who's very straightforward, very outspoken, and perhaps they're, they're laying some truth bombs down. Next card up is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, beautiful energy here, a Scorpio. <laughs> walk into a store, buy a lottery ticket, you just might win a few dollars. <laughs> when this card comes up, I usually say it's a catchphrase for me. Um, but the Wheel of Fortune is a really good energy because I feel what it is, is this is Jupiter's wheel. We're moving with the energies of the universe instead of standing in our own way. Maybe some of you are facing your own truths this week, Scorps, and you're just saying, okay, I'm going to get out of my own way. And I'm just going to move with the energies of the universe until I make this whatever it is, fill in the blank, happen. So... This is where we do not introduce any kind of resistance. We just, you know, let go and let God. We just move out of, step out of our own way. A lot of times we sabotage ourselves by, you know, overthinking a situation or interjecting maybe when we shouldn't. So this is about all about timing. It's about moving with the energies when the time is right. So this is about perfect timing. It's about being in the right place at the right time. It's about synchronicities. So you could be finding some incredible synchronicities happening early on this week. Um, you could also be at the right place at the right time. Maybe you just go on the internet and they're advertising your dream home or your dream job or something like that, but you have to act on it. People don't realize when, you know, good fortune comes your way, you can't just sit back and let it pass you by. You have to actually be reactive in a situation and and do something about it if you see that hey that's my dream home and it's affordable hey just immediately you know contact the real estate agent and and say you want to see it right now or immediately 
um, you know, apply for that job that is being posted that is perfect for you. You could walk into a coffee shop and meet the love of your life. And again, if you look and you go, oh, wow, there's something drawing me into that coffee shop and you don't take action. Well, you know, your moment was there. The moment has come. The moment is gone. Um, you know, also, too, at this time, apply for anything. Apply for whatever it is you want to go after, even if it seems next to impossible. When the Wheel of Fortune is there, anything is possible. Um, you know, if you're offered, uh, hey, fill out this ballot, you could win, you know, a trip for two to Las Vegas or something. Fill it out. You can win contests. Anything can happen when that energy is around you. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Five of Wands here in the reverse position, indicating one of two things. Maybe some of you have been dealing with stiff competition. It could be in the workplace. It could be anywhere. Or, you know, competition pops up everywhere these days. Um, when it's reversed, this is where the competition comes to an end. It points back to the Four of Wands. So we have solidified something just by merely being in the competition. So it's a good energy when it is reversed. It tells us at least something, right? Um, because upright, it's just all it's saying is basically you're in a competition. But we don't know unless the Six of Wands is following it. We don't know where that competition goes. But when it's reversed, this is pointing back to the Four of Wands, which is a good solid energy. So just by merely being in the game, we've solidified something. Um, others of you, this is about drama. Five of Wands in the upright, everybody knows it's not my favorite energy when it comes to drama. It's a lot of that he said, she said, full moon madness, um, which takes place generally the week before the full moon. And we've just, we're just passing over a full moon now. So maybe some of you were dealing with a lot of full moon drama, but it's now come to an end when the, the Five of Wands is reversed. This is where the energy has dispersed or we could have pulled ourselves away and out of the drama. So good, good news either way. Come the weekend here, your last card is the Eight of Cups in the upright position, which I often joke and say, bye Felicia. This looks like somebody who is leaving. But in, in reality, I feel that when it comes to this card, it's not so much that this energy is leaving behind. What it's doing is going on a vision quest. It's going on a search for something to bring in that uh, more emotional fulfillment. Now in the story of the tarot, where is the Eight of Cups going? It's going towards the Nine of Cups. It's looking for that wish fulfillment. So it could be by the end of the week, perhaps, Scorpio, you're looking for something to bring that emotional fulfillment into your life. Now, for some people, they get their emotional fulfillment from their careers. Others get it from relationships. Others get it from friendships and bonding. So it's creativity. Like there's many different ways we bring emotional fulfillment into our lives. So you just need to figure out which it is for you, Scorpio, at the end of the week. And it looks like you may be going on a vision quest at the end of the week to try and find that emotional happiness. So you got work covered here. That looks good. You have, if you have any legal matters or surgical matters, looks like that gets straightened out at the beginning of the week. You have the Wheel of Fortune in your favor. Any drama or competition is coming to an end. And then at the end, you're like, wow, I really, you know, I've got everything else taken care of. Uh, I need to look for some emotional fulfillment here. <laughs> and in closing, to finish off this reading, I'm pulling a card from the Wisdom Oracle deck. What do we have for the Scorps? Observer. Hmm. 49 Observer. Kind of like that, uh, that Eight of Cups energy vision quest, right? You're looking for something you're observing. So that is your special message here, Scorpio. I want to thank you very much for joining me. And I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week ahead. And um, I really hope that the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. It really does go a long way to help the channel grow. So uh, subscribership is free after all. Uh, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.